Moscow says it will continue strikes against terror groups in Syria, and Russia's most advanced air defense system will remain in the country, as CCTV's Julia Labova reports. According to the Ministry of Defense, the first group of Russian warplanes left Russia's Khmeimim Air Base in Latakia province and landed back on home soil. It comes after Russian President Vladimir Putin made a surprise announcement on Monday, ordering the start of the withdrawal of Russian forces. I believe that the goal set out to the Ministry of Defense and the armed forces has in large part been fulfilled, and that's why I ordered the Minister of Defense as of tomorrow to start the pullout of the main part of our military grouping from the Syrian Arab Republic. However, Russia will maintain a military presence in Syria. Its personnel will remain at the Russian naval base in Tartus and at an air base from which it's been launching airstrikes. Moscow says with a ceasefire in place in the country, the Syrian government's forces are capable of fighting terrorists. But Russia says it will step in if it becomes unnecessary. I think uh, that, uh, at least for the time being, Russia will maintain uh, its uh, um, low-profile presence on two bases. I suspect that uh, there might be conditions where Russia will have to redeploy again. If the, uh, there will be a rise in hostilities, and uh, specifically if uh, the um, pressure from Daesh and Jabhat al-Nusra will increase. It's not clear how many Russian military personnel and jets will leave Syria and how many will remain. The Ministry of Defense has never disclosed how many troops were stationed in Syria. With the withdrawal underway, there is no clear deadline as to when it will be completed. Julia Lipova, CCTV, Moscow.